adding a third party core. First we're going to make a ROMs folder for the system we wish to add. So go into Pandori ROMs, then check the text file Pandori Thumbs. We're going to take the system name directly from here. If it's not here or you don't want to use the box art, a different name is fine. Now create a new folder and give it the same name we saw in the thumbs file. Now we can copy in some games. Don't forget to include that Sam Fox game. Instant classic. Yum yum. To find the course folder, we need to go into Pandory, User, Config, RetroArch, and then cause the car i would like to take them out for ice cream and lay them down by my fire to find more information about which emulator is being used we can use the search tool on the libretro website here we can see that caprice is pretty much the only choice we need to find caprice compiled for arm 7. if it's a neon based core then it will work better and even these playstation classic ones work too so I'm going to right click this and then save it into our course folder. We can add as many as we like, so I'll pop in some MAME 2003 plus. A generous amount of info files have been included with Pandori, but if you need to add some, this is the folder to go to. So now back in Pandori 500, we need to scroll over to import content and then manual scan. Here we're going to help it find our ROMs. So go down to Munte. Pandori, ROMs, the system folder we wish to add, and then scan this directory. Then we'll change the default core, which has now been added to our list. We do have a variety of other options to choose from. I like to check this option here, and then start scan. This will create a playlist for our new system. And now we should be able to see our new playlist. As these are third-party cores, they may not be correctly compiled for our hardware, so we can expect slow performance, as well as a mighty fine performance from Ms. Pac-Man. Always ahead of the competition. Gobbles down balls all day, all night long. Very hard. 